Hey, thanks for checking out the video. In this one, we're gonna be testing the limits of this Olight i3T and just how long it can run the lithium 10440 cells. Um, these batteries have a voltage of 3.7. And the fact that this light that's designed to run a battery with a voltage of 1.5, the fact that this light can run those in the first place is really cool. But the question on my mind and a lot of yours has been, um, will the LED burn out? Will the light overheat? Um, is, is there anything, is it gonna fail catastrophically in some kind of way? Um, and just general runtime. So yeah, in this video, we're gonna try to find that out. And basically the, how I'm gonna do it, it might not be the best scientific way to go about this, but it's what I've got. <laughs> gonna set this clock here to high noon and basically just do a time lapse. And about every five minutes, I'm gonna make sure that the turbo mode is refreshed. So I'm gonna turn it off for about a second and then kick it right back into turbo, just to make sure we're running everything at full blast the entire time. Because um, basically, I just wanna push this little light to the limit. Um, I might have to say goodbye to it today after this. It might um, overheat, LED might give out or something. So we're just gonna find out, but worst case scenario, I think we get a data point here. So. Looking forward to doing it. Before the test begins, I just wanted to add a couple things. Um, we are using the 10440s from PK Cell. They're 350 milliamp hour batteries. And um, it says, oh, we got one loaded up in the light, by the way. So we're gonna be starting with this one. This is also fully charged. It says on here, um, man, it's really hard to read, but caution, fire, explosion, and severe burn hazard. Do not crush, disassemble, heat above 70 degrees Celsius, incinerate or expose to expose contents to water. So yeah, don't don't try this at home. Um, and if something goes wrong, I'm just gonna use a pair of pliers and move this to a, a concrete slab outside and let it calm down. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. But I just wanted to add that, you know, don't, don't try this at home. And uh, basically I don't have any thermometer or way to measure the temperature of the light other than by touch. And if it starts getting too hot to handle, I'm gonna have to call a, call the test at that point. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen to be honest. The only way to find out is to do this thing. So let's get into it. test is complete. Um, the time lapse went by really fast, so I'm sorry if you couldn't read all of the note cards in time. They went by really quickly, so I'm just going to recap everything I learned from this. Basically, uh, all in all, it went really well. I mean, this thing is still functioning, hanging in there really well. Um, super happy. I thought it, I thought it might, uh, you know, go kaput after this test or uh, burn out or uh, melt the LED or just be too hot to handle in general, but no. Um, I will say that the light did get hot. The bezel, like the body of the light, the aluminum, it was warm, but I wouldn't call it hot. The lens, on the other hand, after a fresh cell, that second cell used in the test, especially that one did get a little bit warm. So um, that's something to be aware of. You don't want this on turbo um, near something combustible or the lens near your skin or anything like that. So if it's in a pocket on turbo, um, that's that's to be avoided. But uh, after this, the battery runs down, maybe five, 10 minutes, uh, it, things start to cool down quite a bit. So it's just that initial stretch when the light gets put on turbo with a new cell that the light is hot. Um, let's see, and then in general runtime. So this was interesting. The first battery used, all of these cells were fresh, by the way, before the test began. The first cell used went strong for about the first 20 minutes, and then 20 to 25 minutes, the output got pretty poor, and it was blinking. Uh, yeah, so about 20 minutes of strong runtime on turbo, 
And that is very interesting because on the uh, the Olight the Olight specs, you know, using a 1.5 volt alkaline battery, the high mode of 180 lumens runs for 21 minutes on uh, on turbo or high. So that's actually very similar, at least for the first cell used in the test. Um, the interesting thing is the second cell, <clears throat> that one came out swinging. Like I said, that was the cell that got the light really warm, uh, really warm to the touch on the outside, and then the, the lens was hot. I would call it hot. Um, I, I, I would say, I don't know if it could catch anything on fire, but I wouldn't want it around anything combustible or any skin, so. Uh, but yeah, that second cell came out swinging and <clears throat> really heated the light up, but it also blew through its capacity very quickly. The runtime on that second cell was pretty poor. I would say, I think it was about 10 to 15 minutes. That one, um, that one kind of used all of its power. I don't know if it didn't get a full charge or what. I go off of these indicators when the light's in there and they were green, so I thought it was full, filled up. But yeah, something, some, there was some inconsistency between cell one and two. And then cell three, I popped in there just to kind of give one last shot at uh, causing a malfunction or a failure. And um, it was it was similar as far as uh, light was warm, lens was a bit hot. I would say not quite as hot as that second cell, but pretty hot. So that's what I learned. Um, as a sidebar, I did have a subscriber ask about this little DIY diffuser um, for your light. Basically, this thing just turns your light into like a little mini lantern. It diffuses the light in a nice even fashion instead of the, uh, the beam. Uh, this subscriber wanted to know if this would melt or have any issue. I did test that in the, te in the test once a new cell was put in the battery. I'm sorry, once a new cell was put in the light. And I didn't have any issues with this. This was cool to the touch. Um, so yeah, I would say, I would say this is probably good to go. But on that note, I just wanted to add a, a huge caveat to this whole thing. And that is that <laughs> these batteries still are not recommended by Olight per se. Um, and the, the sample size for this test was precisely one flashlight. So your mileage may vary, um, but I'm really pleased with this. I mean, mine did a great job. I uh, handled everything thrown at it. Uh, so yeah, I hope this test answers a lot of questions and helps. Um, there's probably better ways to do this test, but I'm not a scientist. I'm just a dude <laughs> posting uh, random videos. So uh, forgive me if I if I did something incorrectly as far as the method goes. But yeah, I, I found this really fun and interesting and I uh, hope it helps you uh, get you some data and uh, just helps you decide if you do want to try to run these 10440s or avoid them. Uh, I'd say there's considerations uh, in both directions for this. So personally, I'm gonna still use them and just be very careful that you, you don't inadvertently turn on the light. I think you're good, but that's a personal recommendation. Um, gotta make the call yourself. And uh, yeah, thank you once again for checking out the video. Appreciate you watching and have a great day.